this series of videos, we will be introducing the fundamental concepts required to successfully create new rule sets, append rules to existing rule sets, refine rules, and finally deploy these to other projects. The starting point when defining any rule is to establish its purpose. Initially, it should represent a real world requirement, i.e. a project deliverable, or a check to ensure known problems are minimized or better still eliminated from a project. Therefore, the result of the configured rule may identify a non-conforming component in relation to its geometry or data, or simply a warning of a potential issue. Although the obvious result for a rule is a failed condition, rules can be configured to provide a filtered set of components for subsequent rules. Once we have defined the rule requirements, the next step is to select a rule template that will produce the required result. Celebri Office ships with approximately 55 rule template variations, which can be configured to create an almost unlimited set of rules. These can be extended further by the use of the API provided by the software developer platform. Let's look at a few examples using different template configurations. The general intersection template allows sets of components to be checked against each other for clash detection purposes. The property rule template, one of a number of available property rules, can be used to check data in a model. In this case, checking that components have a valid classification value from a predefined enumerated list. We have indicated this via the info pop-up on screen. These property style rules could have been checking other parameter values such as the uniqueness or the masking syntax of a field. The component distance template allows us to check either an exclusion zone around an element, in this case, minimum space requirements for ceiling voids, or that a component exists within the distance of another. This other example checks that each WC has a washam basin within a specified distance within the same space. Both examples use the same rule template but are configured to check different elements, conditions and directions. Spaces can be evaluated using the space validation template. This ensures rooms are fully enveloped by boundary components, such as walls, floors, ceilings or roofs without boundary gaps. Spaces in the model may be used for many purposes if they provide incorrect perimeters, areas and volumes reports in line with the schedule of accommodation through to providing component locations for planned preventative maintenance tasks will be inaccurate. Spaces can be further evaluated for minimum free space requirements. Our free floor space rule can indicate where corridors do not conform to width requirements. Rooms have insufficient turning circle space or rectilinear areas or not enough space in relationship to components. Component values can be compared using our component comparison rule. This template allows evaluation of values either in the same component or in this case a related component. The rule has been set up to check that each door has a relationship to at least two spaces. The doors that fail this rule should then indicate external doors. Further processing of results based on past or failed components can be achieved with the use of gatekeeper rules. The subsequent rules do not have to utilize the same template to that of the parent rule. Out of the box, Solibri provides example roles which include resources such as rule sets, classifications and information takeoffs to provide workflows for different functional purposes. The resources including the rule sets contained within these provided roles are configured examples of the rule templates and are designed to work with the models provided with Celebri Office. Although some of these rules can be utilized within your own projects because of their generic nature, you should fully understand the definition of the configured rules. Understanding how components are checked, processed via their parameters to provide results will enable you to manipulate the examples to work with your own projects, leading to the creation of your own rules and delivering results in line with the project or company standards. This is the basis of the instructional videos to follow.